Hey there viewers and welcome back to Grumpy Monkey Garage where we've got a real treat today. We're working on a 1988 Nissan D21 truck. It is a stripper model. It's a four-speed stick with a, D, a the Z24 engine under there. Which we're going to show you now. This is an original numbers matching engine and transmission and it's still on its first clutch. It has never been done. This engine has 147,000 miles on it along with the rest of the truck. It has never been in a collision and this is the original paint still looking this good. Um, it's also one of my trucks which is why it's in such great shape. Uh, today we're going to be replacing the alternator because it's not charging our battery and this is a very, very simple system. If your battery is not charging it keeps going dead every time you turn the truck off. You are a pretty safe bet to just go ahead and wing an alternator at it. However, you're going to have problems finding an alternator or any parts for these trucks. Uh, we did a video a couple months back about a blue truck, blue Nissan truck, and we, it was impossible to find parts for that truck too. Something about these D21s, I can't get parts for the correct ones anyway, so if you guys know of any D21 parts hubs that are just for these trucks of this vintage all the way to 96, I really want to know about it, so please put that in the comments. Um, so this is what we're going to do. So our first step is going to be we're going to have to get this belt off and this hose out of the way, and then we can start getting to our alternator. So that means that it's time to play with our pet cock. Oh yeah. play with your pet cock. You gotta find it down here, and that's what you call a radiator drain plug. For those of you who don't know, there's a hose right here if you have an original unmolested engine. And you're gonna turn this little knob right here on the bottom of the radiator to the left. And when you do so, it's gonna start peeing coolant. There we go. To make it pee faster, Take your radiator cap off, you release the back pressure, taking your finger off the top of a full straw, and uh, it'll peel a whole lot faster. And you don't want to overflow your bucket. But while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and take this hose clamp off. So we're going to get a long Phillips head, or a 10, but I don't really feel like digging through those yet. I'm going to start loosening this guy right here. God, this thing is being such a... Not nice words. Let's check and see if our coolant's overflowing down below yet. Let's do that now. Nope, good. Require another pan. That's what we should do at this point. Require another pan. But, uh, yeah, there's no way around it. Another pan. And whooshing mess. Nope, I got it all. <laughs> uh, let's tie this one up. And I need this one. There, now it's out of the way. So we can reach our alternator now. We can reach all the bolts and the connections and everything. And it shouldn't be a pain in the ass anymore. Keyword, shouldn't. You know how this goes. <laughs> so, all right, now we're gonna loosen the belt. So we're gonna take this bolt right here loose. And there's one that you could go under the truck, but I'm getting old for that. We're gonna go right about here and straight down from the pulley, there's another bolt. Feels about the same size as this guy. And that'll allow the alternator to pivot to get the belt off. Now, if your truck is equipped with power steering, if you're equipped with power steering, you are so screwed. And if you look at the blue video, the blue truck video where we did the thermostat, you'll see how to remove the power steering pump. This is truck, my truck, is not equipped with power steering. So we don't have to remove that crap. But if yours is equipped with power steering, which most are, you're gonna have to take that out of the way too. So go look at that video and learn how to do that. We don't have to do that because you know, we're lucky like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and close off the pet cocks since we don't need to waste any more coolant. I'm gonna close that now, and then that looks like about a 13 or a 14. And being an Asian vehicle, and this one was actually an Asian vehicle back when 
things were what you thought they were. This one is probably going to be a 14. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, I was right. There we go. And you could just air ratchet this thing, but uh, that was really annoying in our Jeep video, so I figured I'd just do this one by hand. <laughs> Shit, that guy's canals. Okay, he's big. There's no way. Much bigger than a 14 over here. He's like a 16 or a 17. That's canals. Damn, it's bigger than that. Oh, give me my arm back for this. Bigger to 16. Let's try 17, 18, and 19. Ooh. Damn it. There we go. All right, so what I just did was just basically man pawed the thing. And I got the belt off. So now that the belt's off, just move that out of the way. And uh, this guy should be free to slide, which he is. Now we're gonna take the connectors off in the back, which we can't even freaking see. But before we mess with that, we should disconnect our battery if it wasn't super dead. So let's do that. Always disconnect your negative cable first, kids. Find the right freaking size. Excuse me, I no longer need your services. Thank you. So we'll put this there. I don't even know where it came from. Alright, let's see what we got back here. Anything really sexy? Probably not. What kind of bullshit is this? It's bullshit. It's bullshit editor. Yeah, fuck that. We're gonna take this whole thing out and then fuck around with those. You know it's good because it's labeled number nine. Or is it a number six? We'll never know. So I didn't bother freaking look at it before. I, uh, I think it's probably a nine. We're badly drawn. I really don't know. <laughs> it's the original bolt, I'm sure, though, because nothing has ever been done to this truck. Ever. bolts. 14 on top, 18 on the bottom, might be 17 now. And we'll find out for you. I don't know what the hell is holding you other than just being on there forever. Nothing. So you're just a dick. Pry bar time. Puniest pry bar ever. <laughs> it's, it's not a very big pry bar, but you don't need to be a gorilla with this truck. Oh, oh, so let me just turn the fan here. It's five million degrees in this garage. Okay. What the hell is this clip thing holding you on? Is there some other bolt holding you on? I don't think so. Should just come off now. Should. But is your malfunction alternator? 
<laughs> okay. What is your fucking problem? Other than being 30 years old and not wanting to move. It's 30 years old and set its ways. No, no freaking kidding. Alright. We're gonna look at the new parts and investigate why this fucking thing won't come off. We're gonna do that on the box though. All right, so this is our new Chinesium one. And they, uh, we've got one bolt here and some sort of clip device here. And here's something interesting. The bolts we took out, not very long. So we had the little bolt in the top. Threads in just fine. And that was sort of sliding. And then we had this guy in the bottom. I think I found our problem. There's somebody back here, I bet. And uh, we need to reach back there and get that, which means we have to move all this crap out of the way, which means we gotta take a bunch of other stuff apart. And damn it, damn it, damn it. It's because it's not a Toyota, that's what's wrong. <laughs> oh, get out of here. I guess we should take off this other hose. we can do just to get us some more room we can take this one completely off so we'll probably bungee cord this other hose to the battery or something just to get it out of the way so we can get our hands in there make it easy, do they? This coming from the man who just bought a newer Nissan, which still didn't make it easy. So I just made a face of it. I'm like that. I don't intend to do any of this work professionally. Invest in these size and this size bungee cords. For situations like this, where fuckers won't come off, and you don't have time for that, so. You have time for this, though, where you just strap it up to this thing. And we'll go like that. That's not working. About right there. I hate these things. What's wrong with the squeeze? Ones that everybody else frickin' uses. Got you, bastard. Ah, oh, fuck that, I need the flex head. Or a wrench, I don't know yet. That's the bolt. So this guy is our clip. I just love plastic clips. Especially when they're 30 years old and a little salty about being on there for that whole time. Ha! Got you, bastard! If y'all can't see that, here it is in my hand. Push in on this bit, you push it, and you pull it. And off she comes. And if you can see down in there from... I don't know what kind of fucked up angle I have to get here. I'll put my hand on it. See how you can get to it, editor. This bastard! That my fingers are on right here. There's a bolt here. Which is super hard to see. Of course. I can only feel it. I can't even see it. We're gonna take off this 10 millimeter that I'm uncovering now. Scalpel. <laughs> 
The doctor is performing surgery. It is a scalpel. Here we go. I bet it's a 10. I bet. Am I sure? Nope. Is it a pretty safe bet? Yep. Yeah, it's a 12, of course. <laughs> Seriously. Got you, fucker. Flex head ratchets. For the times when the engineers tell you get a cactus enema and other improper things of telling mechanics, this is the way to fight back. It's the lubricant of the uh, enema world. Fuck you, fuck you, piece of shit alternator. Fuck you, fuck you, you asshole alternator. Oh, and they both have nines. Look at that corrosion. Oh, yeah. Don't get corrosion like that from the store these days. Fuck, we're gonna get that bolt off. Well, come out already, you fucking asshole. Done, done. The size of the bolt is 10. It was a 10. It wasn't tripping balls, there was a rubber cap in my Damn it, you fucker. When you've taken these two off, there's another bolt here that you're not gonna see. And it's very, very small. I'm gonna try an eight and see if that fits, but it's a small bolt and it's gonna piss you off. Not a whole lot of ways I can show you what's going on down here. Except to say that there's a bolt, and when I get it out, I'm going to show it to you. There we go. Yeah, fuck you. Look at that tiny little bastard. Let me focus. I'm going to screw it in right there, so whenever it focuses, you can... That's where the fucker goes. Set up just like this. This is cranked down, and this is underneath this, so it's like a second ground. So really, I guess you don't have to take that off, but you gotta take it off anyway to get it onto this one, and it's kind of in the way in there. So. I guess you didn't, but I guess you did. If it works for you, do it. Yeah! No! <laughs> okay. Be nice. Be nice. Come on, big fella. Be nice. All right! It's still as smooth as the day it was new. Except it doesn't charge anymore, so that's kind of a problem. But there's where it was. And you can see this blue motor mount here thing is where the alternator was. And on both sides there were the 17 millimeter bolts holding it in, but now it's out. I'm gonna put the other one in, but water break, it's hot. New alternator smells so sexy. I'm kidding. So the eyelet with the rubber cover right here goes to the main one here. That's where that goes. The other one goes here by default. Don't put them both on one. So there you go. All right, let's put it back. There, all right, let me get our first 17. Ow. <sighs> it's 
screwdriver of some sort to align that would be nice. So let me get a small one. Got you. All right, now don't tighten the bolt, okay? Viewers, do not tighten the bolt, because as soon as you tighten it, you're gonna move that shit anymore. So put them all in loosely, except the connections. Put the connections in and make sure they never move again. So, let's do that now. So now, we can actually move this fucking thing. Where's that 14? Now we get to clear up this clusterfuck. Okay. So for those of you who didn't listen to me the first time, this eyelet that does not have the rubber shroud goes to the bolt that's eight millimeters. The one that does have the rubber shroud goes to the 10 millimeter. And you can't see this shit, so. All right, guys. So we had to leave this rubber cap on. It's very important you do that because there's two posts right next to each other. And we don't want to have these things arcing while you're driving down the road. So make sure you get that rubber cap securely on there and put all these bolts back. So now we just got to put our belt back on. Actually, we're going to put the back bolt on first. That's what we're going to do first. I'm going to slide this guy back forward. And I need to be where you are, editor. All right. Shove this pinned ass in here like this. Which no one can see, I'm going by feel. Okay, need different arm to feel different things. Any mechanic who says they're left or right handed is lying to you. Every mechanic has to be ambidextrous or they're not very good. Sometimes you just can't get, this hand doesn't bend that way, you have to be both. Alright, get the ratchet and tighten that up. Put this belt back right on there. Pull it until it's nice and tight. And then we'll tighten everything up and this bitch should crank and run. Let's see how we did. Viewers, we're gonna use our Super Tech multi duty complex, but whatever the hell, I bought it from Walmart because I'm a cheap ass. You're gonna take some of this shit and you're gonna rub it where those hoses were so that they don't get stuck next time and you don't want to fucking kill them because that will make you a homicidal maniac. And if this job doesn't already do that enough, you really don't need to help it out. So do that so they won't get stuck. And we'll put the hoses back on, fill this thing up with coolant, take it on a test drive, and you'll be there for that. Junk box, dead alternator, dead battery. Kind of go hand in hand. So now we've got everything back together. We're going to put the jump box on cha. the jump box here, it told me the voltage was at 13 and a half. 
Rich, assuming the alternator needs to break in, which most of them do, it's not bad. We want to see 14. So 